And so, with auditions done, we have casting to do. We've run through callbacks, which is its own Wellsian type of invasion from Mars, only with actors. With callbacks out of the way and the actors waiting like Gogo and Didi for Godot, the directors put our heads together and work out casting for the season of shows for the theater department. The students expect Herculean professionalism during the process, which we deliver. It's very similar to No Exit by Sartre, but we get the job done, and we don't speak to each other for the rest of the semester, mimicking a scene straight out of theater for the deaf. But... It's up. No, I repeat, the list is up. The cast list is the final piece of it. It's an evil that's necessary. A necessary evil, if you will. But if you're casted, you've closed escrow, as some of us like to say. I mean, they love you. As well they should. I mean, you... I've worked hard over this audition process. But we all know it's only in college you have to do this kind of stuff. I mean, out there in the real world, everybody's gonna know what I can do. I'm never gonna have to audition again. Or build a flat. Or strike a set. I'm never going to have to do any of that stuff ever again out there in the real world. Well, this can't be right. Someday, I'm going to put a hidden camera at the call board. Just to see what really happens when the cast list goes up. I dare not show my face on posting day. I cancel all my classes and go play golf. never know who's around. You don't ever want anyone to see you celebrating at the call board if you got a role in one of the shows. <laughs> Not ever. For those who didn't get a part, they'll hate you even more than they already do. Especially those who know they should have gotten the part that you were cast as. They'll really hate you. Even when they tell you congrats. <laughs> Which is an obligation, I guess. Role in an actual production. Nothing they did in high school. High school. 
school doesn't count here in college. Oh, so you did Emily in our town? Good for you, sis. Who of us hasn't? Dude! Hot dog! Ooh, I got a part. Who's your daddy? Who's your master? That's the end. That's what I'm saying. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. Gonna accept my role now. I get my pen now. Gonna take your pen now. In this the page now. Uh, get your roll now. Get your roll now. Accept your roll now. Get your roll now. Accept my roll now. You got your roll now. King of the stage now. You're gonna rule now. Gonna rule the stage now. King of the stage. You guys get a part? Got a part now. King of the stage now. King of the stage. I don't. Um. Oh. Um. I'd say 50% ability, 50%, wait, 60, 40, ability, and looking the part. No, wait, well, something like that. But really, it's talent. That's what gets you cast. When you think about it, it had to be me in that part. I mean, who else is there? I look the part, I am the part. The part was written for me. Okay, well, not really. Moliere lived like, well, a long time ago, mid 1700s or something like that. But if I'd have been there, you would have definitely written it for me. Now I'm ready to get my script and get down to work. I'm, I'm going to highlight my lines and start memorizing tonight. Right after Guy and I celebrate with some illegal pharmaceuticals, but you did not hear me say that. I don't get it. This whole casting thing. I mean, you got a part. Whoop de doo. The stage manager is the one who does all the work. I mean, I'm the poor slob who's to make sure these actor dwibs get to rehearsal. And that means on time, not intoxicated or worse, and have their cell phones turned off. Actors. I thought they were a good idea. But why? 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 I'm sure there's some reason for it. What? Candy. What? Huh? What? Well, I believe that everything happens for a reason in this universe. I didn't get cast for a reason? Sure. Maybe he has other plans for you and you just don't know it yet. He? Yes. <laughs> he who? He who? That's who. He? Him. Him who? Him. Oh. Yeah. Gotcha. Your Sunday school thing. No, no, Dina. It's more than that. See, I want to do drama ministry when I graduate. Why didn't so... that jerk cast me? That's what I want to know. Jerk. Let's not be harsh now, Dina. You think calling Dr. Beekwin a jerk is harsh? Hun, you gotta live a little. That man is a dirty son. Whoa, 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 okay, okay. Let's let's just breathe. I'm gonna eat. Why don't I just stop my face? What flavor is that anyway? Whatever you want. Uh, uh, no, you know? I'm in mourning here. I don't want to see anyone. 
Vina, open up its test. No, that cow just wants to gloat. She got the lead as always. And I know why she keeps getting the leads in all the plays, and it has something to do with a couch. Dina! Ugh. The wrong thing. Let me in and quit pouting. I'm not pouting! And quit picking out on ice cream. You do that every single time you don't get cast. It hasn't been that long since I'm I just gonna get the door. <laughs> Look at you, quit it! Hi, Jess. Hi. Candy with a K. Candy with a K. You're a mess. I didn't get cast. Okay, so what? Get over it. No, I won't. I'm gonna eat ice cream till I die! We're just about to watch the lake house. You have got to be kidding me. Dina, get out from underneath there. I have news. That man couldn't cast a play if he tried. But he cast this one. You know what I mean. Blake got cast as a walk-on soldier, and he's only on stage for five minutes. Hey, come on. Ugh. Wake up. You got things to do. What? Come on, I need you to get out of bed. Right now. Let's go. How'd you get in my apartment? Dude, I'm your roommate. Right. <sighs> Come on, seriously, get out of bed. Let's do this. Come on. Ugh. Not getting cast is the worst thing that can happen to an actor. I mean, directors just don't know enough about casting. Not like they should. I saw the cast totally different than Vigland did. I mean, Tess in the lead? Really? Has he read the script he's directing? I heard he hasn't. That would explain a lot. I mean, I don't hate the man. I've worked with people I hate before. You just have to be the character and not let it ruin the performance. That is, if you get cast. I mean, I know he's a director and all, but I heard apparently Viglin punched out an actor at the school he was at before he came here. What does he know about casting? I'm just going to, um... Be honest and throw this out there, okay? How retarded of a tard is Viglint? Uh, El retardo? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, um, shouldn't have said. Well, I shouldn't have used the Spanish form. I mean,. It's one thing to hate your director and wish he was dead. It's another thing entirely to be a racist slob. See, the thing is, Vigland is known for forgetting what's going on half the time. And that gave me an idea. Because I am sure not walking on stage for a lousy five minutes. Nope. I've got a cunning plan. And Guy is the go-to guy to help me out on this one. Awake back there? Yeah. Huh. Do I even have a choice? Right. Let's go. All right, officer, we're being quiet. No noise disturbances today. No cast party. Sir or ma'am. Guy, it's me. Open up. Like? Yeah, come on, open up, I'm in a hurry. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, it's 
some out and moving along. Hey, come on, let's go. I need your help. Congrats on the park, by the way. Shut up. I was being serious. Yeah, me too. A five minute walk on park? Are you kidding me? Come on, where are we going? Oh, a little um, B and E action. All right, man, I don't do that kind of stuff anymore. I can't break the law or break my parole. I refuse to play soldier for five minutes, okay? I play McDuck for Pete's sake. All right, all right. Calm down. Let me go change my clothes. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, Larry and I are having a little celebration. I'm getting cast in the show. You got cast? Both of you? Oh, hey, dude, what's up? I was asleep. Hey, what's your name again? What's in the bag? No. Lipstick. Well, it looks like you're feeling a lot better. Let's face it. There's nothing better than seeing someone like Blake face the misery you think he deserves. I'm celebrating. He's not answering his cell. Who? Blake. Eyeliner. Why are you calling Blake? Are you kidding me right now? Yeah. Listen, Candy, that is your name, right? Yeah, Candy. <laughs> Who is the most arrogant, self-centered, puffed up, prideful actor in our department? Candy. Uh, Blake. Who else? <laughs> right. When an actor like Blake gets a walk-on with a couple of lines, it's like telling Laurence Olivier he has to play second fiddle to Jim Carrey. <laughs> Who? Jim Carrey, Dina, pay attention. No, the other guy, who's that? No, Laurence Olivier, known by many theater scholars to be the greatest actor of the English stage of the 20th century. Oh. I'm impressed, and that takes some doing. What scholars? Dr. Beeglin? I like Olivier, by the way. Me too. Wuthering Heights. Oh, yeah, and Sleuth. Oh, marathon Man. Mm. Because if it's Dr. Veekland, it doesn't count. Mm. His Hamlet. Henry V. Richard III. Wow. <laughs> no doubt. So, did this Oliver guy really act with Jim Carrey? Why am I the one you guys turn to when you need somebody to break into the theater? I'm not that guy. person. <laughs> so, not anymore. Okay. All right. Come on. Come on. My career rides on this. Move on. Here. Use this. What is that? It's my blade of Garanthrixdad. It's my. LARPing stuff. It's solid and can open the door. Whatever, sure. Um, LARPing? LARPer, LARPing, live action role playing. Oh, you mean like, like D&D &D junk? Dude. What? Might want to take a step back, man. Love Nugget Schwanzenberger doesn't take that stuff lightly. Love Nugget Schwan Schwanzenberger? It's his LARPer name. Okay, sorry. So, okay, no offense, Larry, but the LARPer junk, mm, excuse me, stuff, that's, isn't it all about like pretending to be somebody else and like playing dress up with like fancy costumes and like, I don't know, delivering lines from medieval times or something like that? Something like that? Yeah. No offense, man, but that's, Really weird. Like, why would anybody ever do that? D and D. D and D. How could anyone with half a brain compare what we do with D and D? They sit at tables and roll dice and do math. 
We're out there doing it for real, with swords and shields and dragons br Okay. It's not all for real. Swords and shields, sure, but not dragons. My friend Roger got stabbed in the leg once. That's not D&D. &D. You're welcome. I'm gonna kill him. Ah, come on. Come on. All right, you stand here. Don't move. Thank you. 